Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan giving you a quick overview of the stereo features in version 5.6 of Mocha VR and Mocha Pro. This demo will comprise mostly of Mocha VR, but the concepts will apply to both products. I'd also like to point out right now we are offering Boris FX Continuum VR unit included as a free add-on with new Mocha VR purchases, upgrades, and subscriptions. So let's have a look at the features. First of all, in the standalone application, we can still go ahead and map any footage that we bring in, but now we support left, right, stereo, and top, bottom, as well as mono in our views. So if we come to the view tab here, we can see top, bottom, and if we select that, it will map our views correctly to a top, bottom file. Inside the plugin, however, we've got a few more options. Under here, we've got a nice shiny new logo, but here you notice we've got a new dropdown for stereo, left, right, and top, bottom. So if I select top, bottom, it will now interpret the file inside After Effects as a top, bottom, left, right footage. So here, up in the left, right buttons, we can switch between those views. We can also rotate around into 360 mode and see that changing as well, or we can use the one and two buttons to toggle between. Here, we're just gonna draw a new shape and line up our surface to this little painting here. And once we have that painting in check, you can see that on the right view, it's not currently lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use something in the tool called Track All Views, and just track one frame so we can see what's happening. So now, if we go over to the right view, you can see that the drawing is mapped to both views. So we're gonna start tracking this, but first, because VR is very large, we're gonna switch over to Quarter Proxy, go back into Mocha, suppress this warning, and now we're going to go ahead and track forwards really quickly. So as we're doing this, what's happening is it's tracking both views simultaneously, left and right, and the left view is aiding the right view in the track. Now we can apply a logo and stretch it out as normal, and you can see it's automatically rendering from left to right without us having to do anything further. We can, however, of course, tweak those views independently with left and right keys if we need to. Once we have what we need, we can close and save, and then inside the plugin environment, we can choose our render here to insert composite and click on render, and it will render to top and bottom. And then this will play back through the file correctly tracked in the scene. We can also render the insert cutout in the same manner. Doing stereo roto is the same process. Here I've already tracked the chest of this chef in this 360 scene, and you can see it mapped left and right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and draw some new roto to link to this tracked shape. So we're going to rename that track and start drawing around. And you can see here we've sped it up just for convenience. But once we've actually done the shape and linked it to back to the track, it will now also bounce the roto from left to right. So any change that we do in the left-hand view now, such for example we need to tweak here, it's going to automatically be mapped back to the right view. So we can keep on adjusting these points around and everything we've done here is going to be switched over to the right correctly. We can, of course, just modify in the right view if we want to, and any key that we make in the right view generates its own right view keyframe, so we can keep those keys independent of each other. So we can go through and finish off rotoing this shot, and then bring it back out into the host. In this case, we're going to be using Premiere here. We've already done the mat here, and you can view the mat through the view mat option in the mats, or we can apply the mat down into the top bottom view for left and right, and then use that to apply down onto other scenes. So for example, here, this apply mat can now be matted on top of something else, such as the VR unit insert from BCC. So here we can see the BCC logo now behind in all the cameras, and the mat is going over the top. Of course, the remove module also works in stereo, but we've optimized the remove so that often you only have to use one view to help remove the other. This is also helpful for shots like this one, where the stereo is only in the front camera, and you've got a mix and match of mono and stereo at your nadir patch. So in this case, we can leave track all views turned off, and just track the left view. And the information from the left view can either be offset by a manual stereo adjustment, or in this case, we can leave it alone, and use the information from one view to remove in both views. Now, if you're removing with a full stereo shot, you can leave the background shape the way it is. On a front-only stereo camera, however, you need to modify the shape a little bit so it's only dealing with the mono area of the camera and not giving you information from left and right in the stereo camera. So here you can see I've modified the shape to a sort of triangle shape to avoid that front camera area. 
Now we can go ahead and use the left only part of the track to copy into the right. But if this was a standard stereo shot, of course the left would also remove the right and offset the pixels correctly. So once you're ready, you can either choose to render one view or both views. Here we're just going to choose one view, in this case the right, and click render. So now it's processing taking the tracking data from the left view and removing on the right. But if we want to see the left view, obviously it's not rendered yet. So we can choose render all views instead, turn on our left view here, let's just go back to the selected layer, and now when we render it will actually render both views. Once the render is finished in both views, we can then toggle between them. To optimise this process even further, we can also create a clean plate. You can either choose an original source frame that you're going to paint in Photoshop, or in this case you can choose a pre-rendered frame just to help speed up the remove. Clicking the Create button will save a high resolution TIFF file, which then will save the extension of the view you're creating. The important thing to note here is it's only saving one view, which means you can paint anything in the clean plate, and then that can be used to apply to both views. To speed up the render significantly, use the Clean Place Exclusively checkbox, which will only reference the clean plate you're currently using. So if I go back to the beginning of the timeline here, and we go back to our selected layer, now when I render using clean plates exclusively in both views, that single clean plate is going to help remove in both the left and the right. If there's any lighting discrepancy from using that single clean plate, you can turn on the illumination modelling, such as linear, and that will help put the lighting back in correctly for the left and right views. Then, just like the insert, the mats, and so on, you can go back into the host and churn on the render, and it will render into the top and bottom views, or the stereo view that you're using. If you just need to do a quick and dirty patch for the Nadir, you can actually use the Lens Distort mode to undistort your stereo view, patch it up, and then redistort it back onto the original plate. Just use Lens Undistort from the module renders inside the Mocha plugin, nest that distortion and then use some masks and painting to just clone out the rig yourself, then copy the original Undistort effect, apply it down on everything, and then use Lens Distort to re-warp everything back into place. The advantage of this method is that you can keep everything inside the host you're working in, and it renders really quickly. The disadvantage of course is that you don't get all the advanced lighting and detail replacement that you would from a standard remove. Finally, we've added stereo support to the Mocha VR reorient module. This allows you to track in left and right views as normal, but then use that data to both stabilise and then reorient the camera in VR mode. When adjusting the Horizon Orient, you can turn on the Effect Keyframes in All Views button to make sure that the adjustment happens across left and right. If you leave it off, you can also adjust those views separately. Then, like any render module, you can choose the Reorient option from the plugin menu, and it will render directly to the host. So that's a quick overview of the stereo features in 5.6 Beta. If you've got any questions, please do post them onto the Beta forum, or if you're viewing this externally, please contact us at viruseffects.com for more information.